Hello, my name is Laura Lane and I am the International Baccalaureate Middle Years Program Coordinator at Mary Ellen Henderson Middle School and George Mason High School. Today, I'm here to talk to you about a new project that our freshmen will begin this spring. One component of the IB Middle Years Program, or MYP for short, is the personal project. Our MYP Year 4, or Grade 9 students, will begin working on this project during the spring semester. They will continue to work into MYP Year 5, and students will complete and showcase their project in the spring of Grade 10. The IB MYP Personal Project is an opportunity for our high school students to showcase any topic they are passionately interested in while demonstrating the skills of inquiry, organization, communication, and reflection that they have learned over the years. Each student will be assigned an advisor to guide them through this self-directed project. The advisor will meet with the student at least four times and will provide advice and feedback on the student's progress. Students who successfully complete the personal project will receive a special recognition at school and on their high school transcript. We've reached out to a couple of your fellow students who have previously done the IBMYP personal project at other schools they have attended, and they are here to give you an idea of what is to come. My name is Gabriel Perez. I'm a senior here at George Mason. Uh, I did my personal project in the Roosevelt American School in Lima, Peru, and I built an electric guitar from scratch. Hi, my name is Samantha Steger. I did my personal project at Colegio Franklin Delano Roosevelt in Lima, Peru, and mine was writing a survival guide for third culture kids. My name is Will Sherard. Uh, I did my personal project in International School Suva at Suva, Fiji, and I took a bunch of videos and pictures of sharks in two different locations and compiled that into a video and made a report about it. When I was thinking about what to decide to do for my project, I made a list of all the things that I love doing because I knew that I was going to be spending a lot of time on it. So I made a list of traveling, cooking, writing, and photography. And I sort of combined what I loved the most, which was traveling, uh, with what I did the best, which was writing. So I combined those and wrote the book. I am a musician. I enjoy guitar, so I decided to build an electric guitar and get kind of more hands-on feel. There was a big uh, community showing of all the different students' projects, all the teachers and the parents were invited. For me, I had a trifold display with my report and all my pictures on it, as well as a laptop playing the video that I had created. At my school, the way we showcased the project was that during a short Wednesday, the 10th graders would set up tables with displaying their project outside of the lobby in the, um, the Performing Arts Center. And then throughout the day, students could come with their teachers and walk around the exhibit and talk to each person. And then at night, we would get dressed up and then all the parents would come and we'd do the same thing. It gave me a, a feel to delve into something that I was passionate about. Um, and it ended up creating a project that not only I was proud of, but I was able to showcase and you know, demonstrate to other people what it was that I was good at and interested in and how I got from point A to point B. I like that the whole idea of the project was to do something that you were interested in and we just had so much freedom in terms of choice of topic and I really enjoyed being able to apply my love for diving and for sharks to uh, work in school. Something that was not as easy with the personal project was keeping a process journal and reflecting on every little step of the way. Um, what I would have done differently is made this a little more interactive because if I was just writing about writing, it got kind of repetitive. Um, so I think it'd be fun just to talk about it instead of basically copy and pasting stuff I'd written and transferring it into a journal just because it was a requirement. Well, I didn't like the fact that I had to go back and complete the process journal, which was kind of my own fault because I didn't fill it out when I was supposed to. 
and I guess that's honestly what I would do better is more organization involved with the process journal and actually keeping track of my work and when I did it. I learned that not only do I have a huge passion and drive for music, um, but I'm also very well versed in mechanics which leads, to, which led up to different potential opportunities in my future. And then I also learned, you know, a couple weaknesses that I have in terms of, you know, focusing and not procrastinating. So it was a good way to learn my strengths and my weaknesses as a person. Because my project was a reflection on my life as a third culture kid, I learned a lot about myself and what was the hardest for me growing up. And but then I also learned in reflecting on these how I'd overcome it and um, it was really great to see that and to also be able to help others. I remember when somebody picked up my book and read it, they brought it to their kids and that just made my day and it really made the whole project awesome. To find something that you're passionate about, it's a very long and tedious process, a very long, difficult project, and if it's not something that you're passionate about, then you will probably be miserable and it won't be a good experience for you. So definitely, and again, don't, don't procrastinate because then that just creates all sorts of issues. The first thing that I would tell people that are about to start this process is that it should be something that they love. The personal project is supposed to be fun and they should choose something that they're really passionate about because it's such a great thing to do if you do that. Yes, I'd say don't do what I did in terms of the process journal. Make sure that you're keeping track of that all the time. And another thing, probably more important, make sure that you actually choose a topic that you enjoy because otherwise you're just going to spend a whole lot of time writing a report and doing something that you don't like. As the student said, this is an opportunity for you to showcase something that you are passionate about. You get to make this project truly your own. Throughout the spring semester, you will receive more information about the project, including a freshman kickoff event on March 15th. For more information on this project, please visit our personal project website at www.gmpersonalproject.info.